your big goals and dreams the dreams and big goals are 2 years 5 years from now right how do you identify what those are i think so i have been thinking a lot about this especially the last 6 months since graduating and now i'm trying to find my own personal path in grad school um so i think i kind of started off with some very vague parameters of what i want my what my goals and dreams are you know i had some you know vague idea that i want to incorporate ecology and engineering and social welfare into some kind of um you know composite role that meets all three needs um and so that's you know my ultimate like you know top uh kind of idea and yeah. so everything else is built off of that and so from that core i kind of develop a little bit more detail and get a little bit more focus um and so the more i think about it and the more i talk to people and i do research work and i take my classes and i kind of get a better sense of how these three things work together and how they exist in the world i kind of start to clarify um you know what kind of ecological work i want to do or what kind of social impact that i can have or what engineering systems exist to satisfy those mm-hmm. um and so i guess my process of goal slash dream identification starts with this kind of core um and where that comes from i honestly can't say i suppose the ecological aspect comes from a you know childhood interest in marine biology and the engineering is just you know liking math and physics and wanting to have an applied impact on the world and the social just from you know seeing issues in the world and wanting to help fix it So I suppose I just start with this very fuzzy idea and kind of increase resolution as I go. And so in terms of applying that to my, you know, current time management, I think I especially lately with me trying to figure out, you know, what kind of research work or anything I want to do, I start and you know, that's been a spectacularly difficult process just especially with this fellowship and I can do whatever research I want, you know, I have mm-hmm. the whole you know world of research essentially to pick from and so i've been trying to kind of start with this core idea and kind of work backwards so if i say you know i want to do something like living shorelines which is you know the application of ecological systems to like coastal protection wave attenuation um, water clarification stuff like that i'll kind of say okay you know what do i have to do to get there what is the previous step to implementing a full scale living shoreline project um what kind of social benefits will that have you know how can i learn more about what that is and so i kind of just start with a really big thing and work backwards um all the way down to okay what classes am i going to take this semester what research project do i want to do what paper should i read today um and that's you know it has varying levels of uh success depending on how motivated i am on a given day but that's generally the idea i think that's so amazing many people after 10 15 years of job does not have this type of clarity that you have adrian it hardly seems like clarity but <laughs> yeah it, it definitely on a day to day basis feels confusing and overwhelming a lot of the time one solution for that is every day you pick up the top 3 things that you will finish and just you finishing one two or all three of those will give you a tremendous boost in everything you're doing in your life and i recently published a video i highly recommend you watching because she specifically said we have to think in 10 20 years duration and many a time we don't have that patients um to kind of um, um wait and work that long dream and and aspire to do great things work at it but put in a little patience and then have an amazing group of people around you that can support you in multiple facets when you're 20 your mm-hmm. career is going to be 30 plus years It's not set in stone what you do in your 20s. Yeah. 
won't probably be the thing you're doing in your 50s. If you keep building skills and relationships, you can evolve. So what are your big goals right now? I suppose like, so, you know, finishing my master's degree is a moderately big goal, I guess. Uh Um, Getting a PhD after that is a slightly larger goal. Um, And then just being able to positively impact the world while doing something I enjoy is the ultimate goal. How about family? Yeah, I guess it's definitely something that exists in the back of my mind. Um, I guess, yeah, it's something that I would like to have one day, um, but definitely not something that I think about or I think that I really need to think about at this point. Um, but yeah, it will be nice eventually. <laughs>